Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yan Jun Han from Stanford, and today I will talk about the idea of a local moment matching, which is a unified methodology for symmetric fun function estimation and distribution estimation on the Watson same distance. This is a joint work with my lab mate Jian Tao Jiao and my advisor Saki Weissman at Stanford WE. Let me first introduce the problem. So given n independent samples from a discrete distribution P, that is P1 to PK, we'd like to estimate the distribution vector P up to permutation. So here, the parameter K is the support size of the distribution. For example, suppose we catch fish in the ocean. Assume, uh, assume that our observation for fish species is salmon, cod, whale, salmon, cod, salmon. So the traditional problem is to estimate the population frequencies, frequency of all fish species. And finally, we will arrive at the histogram, something like that. However, in our problem, we will remove all label information and, on, and are only interested in, the sh in estimating the shape of the histogram. So there is no label information here. Uh, our loss criterion is as follows. Let P smaller to just be the sorted version of P. And we'd like to estimate, find a estimate of P hat such that the L1 distance between P hat and P smaller is small. And here we, consider, we are considering the minimus framework. So we'd like to consider the worst case error over all, pos all possible discrete distribution of a support size K. So here, mk just denotes the set of probability measures supported on k elements. Uh, so why do we care about estimating distribution up to permutation, or just the sorted distribution? Firstly, the sorted distribution reflects the shape of the distribution, can tell us light tail or heavy tail, or etc. Secondly, estimating the sorted distribution is significantly easier than estimating the unsorted distribution, that is estimating P itself. And thirdly, sorted distribution provides insights into estimating P via a two steps procedure. Let's consider the distribution estimation pro problem into two steps. The first step is to estimate the probability multiset, that is to estimate P up to permutation, and the second step is to label the probability. So our problem is just the, the first step. Also, by changing the permutation group into general groups, we, uh, this problem can provide the general insight of learning parameters up to group transformation. And finally, and most importantly, plugging in the sort distribution into permutation invariant functions of, of the distribution will be a very interesting topic to see and as we will discuss later. Now, okay, let's consider the symmetric functional estimation problem. We'd like to estimate the functionals of the form F, capital F of P, which is equal to sum of little f of Pi. And to make things interesting, we will assume that the function little f is non-smooth. And our parameter, the support size k, is larger than the sample size n. For example, we, can, we would like to estimate the channel entropy, Poisson function, support size, and distance to uniformity. Uh, over the recent years, there has been several works uh, working on the, the minimus optimal estimator in symmetric functional estimation, and the key ideas are as follows. We need to ap approximate non-smooth f by some log degree polynomials to reduce the bias. And finally, the n sample, in most scenarios, n samples in optimal estimator is, equ is essentially equivalent to n log n samples in plugging the empirical distribution. Let's see the following table. So the first, the first column is about the, fun, the functional to be estimated. The second column is the minimus L1 risk. And the third column is the L1 risk obtained by plugging in the empirical distribution. As we can see, compare, when comparing the second column and the third column, we see that the plugging, plugging in the empirical distribution is strictly suboptimal to up to a log factor. And the similar, similar scenario also holds for on the large family of distributions, including some bivariate functionals. For example, the divergence function, including the L1 divergence, Hellinger, KL, and the chi-square divergence, and even for some non-smooth functionals of non-parametric densities. Yeah, all of these hold. So as we can see, the plugging in the 
empirical distribution is bad in this case. But is the plugin approach really bad, or it is the empirical distribution, the wrong target we plug in? And moreover, actually, we ask an even more ambitious question. Is there a single estimator p hat such that plugging plug in p hat into a larger variety of symmetrical functionals achieves the information theoretical limit? p hat has a clear correspondence with the approximation approach discussed before and achieves the minimum risk in estimating some sorted distribution and is efficiently computable. So in the past, people have proposed two different approaches, that is a linear programming-based approach and a profile maximum likelihood approaches, but both of which are subject to some uh, drawbacks. For example, of very restricted op optimality or just computational inf infeasibility and cannot generalize to other models, etc. And our main result is that, so the answer to the previous problem is actually yes. And it's done by the so-called local mode matching approach. So this, are, this is our first main result. So we have a complete characterization of the minimal sorted L1 risk of estimating the distribution up to permutation. So here, the first term is actually the leading term here. And as a direct corollary, we, find, we know that estimating sorted distribution is possible if and only if the sample size n is far greater than k over log k. And as a comparison, the sorted empirical distribution actually requires n larger, much larger than k samples to learn the true sorted distribution. So which means that actually so estimating sorted distribution is much easier than estimating the, distribution, the whole distribution. And also, we ha the empirical distribution can actually cannot achieve the optimal performance. And uh, we rem also remark that the sorted empirical distribution is only achievable if k, the support size k is not too small. Actually, when the support size k is small, we have enough samples to tell the exact order of the exact order of other parameters, and our work shows that the f exact phase transition point is k equal to n to the one third. Our second result is about the symmetric function estimation. So for the estimator, uh, for, for the previous estimate of p hat, when we plug in p hat into all the permutation invariant 1D function that I mentioned before, actually it achieves the optimal phase transition automatically. So this result sim simply shows that actually we, to estimate the symmetrical functional, we need to replace the empirical distribution by the new estimator. So the plugging approach still works, but it is, it is the estimator to be plugged in which um, uh, it should, be, should change it to this estimator. Yeah, now I just described briefly the ideas behind the local moment matching idea. So let's see, the, um, we consider the underlying distribution, which is a leaf distribution, and the blue curve just you know, the sorted, sorted empirical distribution. Okay, so we just divide the y-axis into several local regimes, depending on the depend on the sorted empirical distribution, and in each, in each region, we just do, mo do moment matching. We actually, we would like to find an estimator that matches the first log n moments of the symbols which lies in this region. And this procedure can be done effect effectively, efficiently by linear programming. And Finally, we summarize some properties of the local moment matching. So it applies to a wide range of permutation invariant functional. It applies to a wide range of statistical models. And it has polynomial complexity. It is agnostic to support size k. And when estimating symmetric functional, it does implicit polynomial approximation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions? We have time. Um, can I just add very, very quickly, so the focus on the L1 norm, uh, yeah. could you just say, you know, for 10 seconds on why that was, why that was the central focus? Or? Uh, I, uh, actually, the distribution estimation literature, L1 norm is the most natural norm to be, con to be considered. So, for example, if we use the L2 norm, then the worst case error is consistent, uh, will vanish regardless of the support size k. So this is the reason why we consider L1 norm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.